Hey everybody, I think it's time. I think it's time to tackle professional mode on Resident Evil 4. Now there have been some new developments since I last played this game. Uh, I bought the hand cannon after finishing all the mercenaries missions with S plus rankings um, or S rankings whichever one it was. I'm not sure I'm going to use it because I have to see what the ammo situation for that is but um, it's an option in case we run into too much of a difficulty. I am not going to play the game from scratch on professional mode because I am not insane. You know, Some people might enjoy um, masochistically pulling themselves through that type of insane challenge and then raging at it for the next 20 hours. I do not, so we're going to start off with a new game. I know there are trophies for doing hardcore on S plus and standard on S plus and I know some people go for that with profession mode. I'm not gonna do that because I have not even seen this game mode yet, so I have no idea how difficult the enemies are, I have no idea what obstacles we might find in our path, how limited the ammo is gonna be, so yeah, I'm not gonna give myself the frustration of doing this from scratch with a new game, you know? So instead we're gonna do a new playthrough. Since we already have all the upgrades there, we're going to do a new playthrough. And here we go. We're going to do professional mode. No autosave. Parrying is limited to perfect parry, so... Oh boy, that could be difficult with Krauser. All weapon modifications will be available from the start, so... Yeah, this is just for fun to see whether I can conquer this game mode or not, so... Do not expect a perfect run. Do not expect an X S plus ranking or doing it under five hours etc there's no point because we already bought the hand cannon so we're one step closer to the gun fanatic trophy so we're just gonna play this to play it and see how far we get and if it becomes too difficult or frustrating even with the mo modifications and all the stuff we bought then I would just abandon it halfway because I am not insane enough to try this the way a lot of people do so let's just sit back and see what it's all about Resident Evil 4 Remake Professional mode. Let's go. Let's go. So we put the green wig on Ada. Yeah, those are the tourists get, that got killed. We can just skip that. September 30th, 1998. Look at that forest. God damn. It's a day I'll never forget. The amazing thing is if you play Alan Wake 2, that day. forest literally looks like that. That night, Raccoon City was wiped out. Thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. It's insane what they can do with the graphics when they really put their effort into it, you know. Oh yeah, we took off the, the Star-Lord face mask for Leon. We gave him instead these nice looking shades. There you go. Obviously, we don't have any weapons just yet, so... It's been a long time since I've played this, so forgive me, it might take a while to actually um, get the hang of it again. That's also why we're not playing from scratch, you know, in a new game professional mode, because that would just be fucking insane. And it looks dark as fuck already, so... We might have to adjust the brightness again. I don't remember whether we adjusted it back after I finished the game How or not. I, have gone? I guess if we, we keep an eye on it... And if it's too dark in the recordings, I'm just going to change it back. I, I think I might have adjusted it before, but... Yeah, I don't... I don't remember if... I do not remember if we turn back the brightness or not. I think we must have, because it looks a little dark. Let's see. Oh, I turned off the ray tracing, because I want to... I want to, um... Okay, so that's brighter. Yeah, this is a uh, looks perfectly bright on my end. Um, let's make it a tiny bit brighter. There you go. Okay, slightly better now. Yeah, I want to. Do 60 FPS. You can see how fast Leon is running compared to um, before he's a turtle. So I know ray tracing is one of the big reasons to even get this game, but on PS5. But you know what? Fuck ray tracing for now. Just fuck Ray and his tracing. You know, 
I also want to see if the knife does double damage here the way it does on RE2. Where you can just you can just slash Birkin to death, and I was just doing that 15 minutes ago. So I want to check it out and see if it's the same thing here. You can already see he moves a lot smoother than we did before with the ray tracing turned off. Which is a shame that they can't get it optimized enough to run, you know, to run perfectly with the ray tracing on, but that's the PS5. You know, you gotta, gotta compromise a bit, so. Anyone home? Oh yeah, Leon moves quick as hell here. It's a world of difference. One thing I do want to try to get is all the trophies in the village here, because we don't have that trophy. I mean, not the treasures. We don't have that trophy. We have the the um one for the island, but we're missing the village treasures and the um, castle treasures. We always miss one in the castle. I don't think it's possible to get all of them at the same time. I think you have to choose one or the other because there's not enough keys. So we're gonna choose the village this time. Then. Hopefully, eventually, we'll do the castle. We already know he kills this guy, so let's just skip it. Alright, there we go. We got our freaking inventory. Look at all this shit we're starting off with. Excellent. We got no... We got no, um... Ammo for the Magnum, so we gotta put that away. Or the Striker. Damn, we don't have shit. As far as ammo, but... We got the guns. That's all that matters. Got two handgun bullets. Not good. So we can kill two dudes. Yeah, you said it, Leon. This is not good. Man, that stinks. Yeah, like you said it. We're, we're, we're hurting for ammo right now. We need some shit. Mario Fernandez Castaño. Got fucked up. So there is a bonus knife. It's called the Primal Knife, but um, I don't even know how to get that, so... I think it has something to do with Ada scenario or like um or if getting like S plus on Leon or something, I don't know. Something you had to do specifically, but um, we did not get that, so we're just gonna have to rely on the good old Krauser knife. And hopefully avoid some of the enemies, cause um Yeah, they're already over there, I th I think. So let's not go into that room just yet. Or is that Ada scenario? I don't remember. I'm trying to see, we got um, we have a buttload of rifle ammo, so maybe that that could help us out. <coughs> yeah, I guess we use it like a machine gun. like that huh yeah I think we're gonna re rely on our machine gun rifle that? because uh, we do not have a lot of handgun bullets to spare and I do not want to waste them on this fool so this is the no fucking way god damn you fool <laughs> fuck you man asshole Just Look at that shit. Look at that shit. We got hurt and we still had the we had the mega powerful rifle and we got hit or, hurt already. Good thing the knife is durable. Oh boy, uh, it's gonna be an adventure. Now yeah, let's just let him go past. Damn, look at Leon with his nice cool ass shades. Look at that. Looking like someone from the freaking Matrix. Look at those shades. Yeah, let's skip that. He just dove out the roof. Let's skip that. 
Oh, look who's here. The merchant. Let's go. How messed up would it be if we just shot him right now? Welcome. What can I interest you in? Welcome, stranger. We do need this. Give it. Give me that fucking village map. Oh, give me that map. You've got a soft spot for treasure, eh? Yeah, that's the way. Yes, we do. All right, here we go. We had a bunch of crap we could sell last time, but we're gonna collect some. Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. Oh wait a minute, can we actually do some of these? You know what? Let's wait, let's let's wait to get more stuff because we don't um, we don't want to um, you know. All my use wares up. are in tip-top shape. I we don't want to use up the gems early, and then we have none to stick in the higher-priced treasure. So let's just let's buy his resources. Up while you can. There you go. We do need two of these. We need one for Saddler, one for Salazar. So we gotta buy one later on, and then what buy another one. We need two. I've got. But we don't have enough. We don't have enough um, ammo to do it anyway. So, Prepare the knife. A um, to suit nah, it's good for now. Needs. <laughs> it's good for now. Beauty, it? The one we need the most is the yellow anything. diamond. We have plenty of sapphires, plenty of rubies. We do not have the other stuff. So, we could sell the flagon. But like I said, I want to see what um, what else we get first. We're not going to be using a ton of stuff early. You got this the Chalice of Atonement. What's that? Should we How buy that? Have we procured these curiosities? <laughs> you don't want to know, mate. Should we buy a gunpowder or not? Or should we wait? You know what? Let's well, wait. Let's wait for now. What can I do you for? Come back any time. Yeah, let's wait because we got. Oh, look at our, look at those resources we have. Um, can we make shotgun? Damn, we need a gunpowder to make shotgun. What can we make? Machine gun bolts. We're not going to use. Um, shit, we might actually need that gunpowder. Um, to make some damn ammo because we don't have shit. We might actually need to buy, buy it from him. But I'm not sure I want to waste the gems just yet. I mean, we have enough rifle ammo. We can just fight our way past it. Oh, look at this nice, smooth 60 FPS. God damn, look at that. It's gorgeous. Leon's not a turtle anymore. He's more like a... Like an energized tortoise. Or he's like a turtle when they go in water. They can actually swim. You think that crow has uh, ammo? Nah, I don't want to waste it. Because if he gives us cash, it's going to be a waste. If he just gives us some coins, there's no point. Handgun ammo, we need that. Yeah, there's no point if he just gives us cash, so... We're going to spare him. You get to lay of crow. <coughs> or raven, whichever you want. Whichever one you are. Thank God we don't need to use, um... What do you call it? ink ribbons here because otherwise we'd be screwed let's send the magnum back because we don't need that shit so let's store it let's store the magnum and let's store the TMP because I don't want that freaking machine gun taking up a whole bunch of space either yeah none of the stuff we can actually use we got five bullets for the hand cannon but I want to save that for if we get into serious trouble you know if we get into some serious trouble with the bosses then we can cheese them with that but I don't want to use that, use that just yet because what is, what's going to end up happening is if we use it frequently, we're going to get nothing but handgun ammo, hand cannon ammo. But the problem with that is you can only hold five shots, so you might get like five more shots of hand cannon ammo. As there's like 20 enemies on your ass, what do you do? You take out five of them, and you're you're broke. You have no ammo, so yeah, it's easier just to store it. What what do we have on the on the case? Let's see. Health recovery for all eggs. That's pretty decent. Shotgun shells bonus. That's fine. And we got Leon with handgun. 30% off knife repairs. Oh shit. We should have used JJ before we bought those stupid ass resources. Fuck. Should have used JJ. 
you know what? Let's substitute. Um, let's remove Leon for now. Let's put in this because I'm. It's either the Vipers or the handgun ammo. I think we should probably go for this, right? In case we need to craft some bullets, we can without it costing a ton of resources. This is where we came from, right? That's where we came from, is it? I want to check something real quick. I've been doing this in Alan Wake 2. I want to see the difference between the... Um... Oh, you can't... It has to be from the main menu. I forgot. Okay, so yeah, it's showing us the, the ray tracing does give the water a little bit more substance. Yeah, so we're just going to do it that way. I hope I have the ready kill set correctly. There's Doggo's brother. Remember how outraged people were that they thought this was the actual dog? That helps you later and they just thought they killed off the dog. People were freaking pissed. They were outraged. A whole bunch of protest posts and stuff on different sites. They were just mad as hell that they killed that dog. And Nope, it turns out it wasn't even the dog. It was like either the dog's friend or his brother. One or the other. But it wasn't him. People were outraged over nothing. But that's par for the course nowadays, is it like some outrage is legitimate, but others is just nonsense. Can we ambush this buffoon? Shit, I don't think we can, because we can't sneak around them. There's a trap right there. Fuck. There's no point, you can't even there's no point. Yeah, you can't bend down. Oh yeah, we also have the classic soundtrack playing. Wait a second, I wonder if um You know what? I wonder if we can actually do this. Let's see. I wonder if we can target him from here. We can. Let's kill him. Shit, come on. Can't get a better angle. God damn, we can't we can't shoot him. Saw some moving over here. Can we do some precise shooting from here? Oh shit, he moved. Right there, let think we can kill him. Take out his leg. I don't think it registered, I think. Oh shit, he did he did uh mutate. down. Leon move you fool. Yeah we had him right there. Okay that was pretty easy. Um.
Like I said, I know some people are gonna... Motherfucker. Damn it. God damn. You said it, Leon. I know some people are gonna complain. Oh, you're doing it the easy way. You're doing. You're not doing it from scratch, man. Fuck that. You have to be absolutely fucking insane to do the shit. You motherfucker. <coughs> yeah, like you'd have to be absolutely fucking insane to try this on from scratch. This is no. Hell no. Maybe it takes some of the challenge out of it, but goddamn, I am not doing that fucking thing on scratch. Are you kidding me? Spend hours and hours and hours just raging up, frustrated at this damn thing. Now here's where it gets spicy. Here's where it might get a little interesting. And they're burning him up. It's a little bright, I'm not gonna lie, but at the same time, I think it helps out the video because you know, you're um, you can actually see what's going on on the screen. So, but uh, I definitely don't like to keep it this bright. I think it is better the, the more natural way to play it when you're not recording. You can just play it for fun. You just keep it um, just keep the brightness at a moderate level. But here we need to do it because otherwise you don't see shit on the screen. So. There she is. I'm waiting for that lady to turn around and go back so we can sneak past her and get grab all the health items. Yeah, she's gonna go. She's gonna step on her little path right there and then she's gonna go, go back. <laughs> she going back? She's asking where he is. Bitch, I'm not gonna tell you. Need to go over there. Look at that, there's an egg right there. We could grab it if we wanna be suicidal. Just step carefully over here. We cannot jump through that window or else it's gonna disturb everything. Can we hit this? Okay, she's over there. Let's move.
that guy's pushing the wheelbarrow. I don't want him to see me. I want to see if we can get what's inside this place. Can. Oh, there's one right there. Tell me he's gonna open the door, really? Here we go. F fuck you, man. Jackass. How did he know? Really? Jackass? Give me that egg. Oh shit, it's gone. That's cheating. Collect the health and all the items. You notice the um, the little sewer entry is also boarded up. You can't go in there just yet. You can't go into the tower either. This trigger is full. The sooner we get Chainsaw Man over with, the sooner we can outrun him. It's my lucky day. at our end right there. I do not believe there's any point in finding these guys. I think they just just outlast them, so... Hey, we got the egg. Yeah, I think you just have to outlast them, so there's no point in running or fighting them. Damn chicken's trying to kill me. At least you can shoot them to disorient them. God damn! Again, we dodged the Grim Reaper right there. Might need to use a grenade to hold them off. But they're getting a bit too close to us. Present for you. I think we should probably make shotgun ammo. Damn, shithead. Let's use a flashbang to disorient him. Fuck! Damn, Leon's cursing. You know it's serious. Fuck off, you assholes! Come on! Oh, you fucking a holes, shit!
Do we do? Do we use um? Continue or load? Or do we want to keep track of this? I guess we want to keep track of the deaths, right? That was fucking bullshit. Damn, we. I forgot there's no manual save, so I have to start all the way over here. Shit. That's some bullshit. Well, you know what? Um, desperate times calls for desperate measures, so we're just gonna. I'm gonna put this away. We're gonna allow one hand cannon shot, and it's just to kill Sack Boy over there with his freaking sack head. Yeah, we're just gonna take one shot only at him just to kill him. This is where he came from, right? That's some bullshit. Why do we have the freaking machine gun? Store that piece of shit, Liam. Why do you even have that? Fool. So, you know what? Uh, rather than trying to sneak around, we're just gonna trigger immediately because there's no point. Oh. You know, I don't, I don't wanna have to keep waiting around for. 15 more minutes and then oh it's all the same we still gotta you still gotta fight them anyway so there's no point we're just gonna just shoot them right there just, just fuck those guys <coughs> oh fuck you <laughs> screw you buddy yeah. You like to taste of the handgun, you motherfucker? God damn, we keep falling for the same fucking trap all over again. Damn Jesus. It. You didn't see shit. Come on. What, you're waiting for me? Come on. Move. Come out here, you fool. Where are you? Damn. Leon's such a crack shot, he's missing every single shot. Sounded like a rock fell. What was that? Oh, it's those heads. Nice. Yeah, let's just get it over with because there's, there's no point whatsoever. So we. The sooner we get it over with, the sooner we can run. Here we go. to the rooftops. It's safer here. Kill her. I wonder if we should throw one grenade. Let's see. Present for you. And if that doesn't finish him off.
Oh damn it, they didn't kill him. It only wounded him. Fuck. I guess, I guess it was too much to hope for. It's a mini hand cannon. It's not fully powered yet. Yeah, there's no point in exploring or trying to grab anything. Just run. Make sure you shoot him so that he doesn't interfere, but just run. There is no point in trying to fight it. There's no point in going to that fucking tower either. I think maybe we should have shot at his head, that might have been able to take him down. But since he shot him in the leg or wherever, it just didn't work. Just playing didn't work. Back off, fool. God damn, this fucking a-hole. Yeah, this is rough. There's no point in fighting them, you gotta just hold them off. Wait, bitch. How long does it last? Like, is it a set amount of minutes or? Yeah, like, is it a set amount of minutes or not? Because I'm curious how long it lasts. How long do you have to outlast them? Fuck that fool. Next. Right, we killed one of them. Now we have like 50 more. Back off, fool. Got two. God damn! Get fool! Take to the roof. Should have knocked off all the ladders though, that would have held him out quite a bit. Oh, Fuck your ladder. Oh, look at that. I never heard that one. Alright, let's kill this fool once and for all. You got the kid. Damn! It took three shots to kill that one guy? And he's still not fucking dead. What's it gonna take, man? What's, what's it gonna fucking gonna take? Damn, we just wasted two hand cannon shots for nothing because he's still alive. It's not a hand cannon, that's a freaking... God damn! Back off, fools. That's not a hand cannon, that's a... That's a hand pea shooter. That ain't doing shit. Oh, they killed the cow too, the savages. God damn! Oh, saved by the bell, finally. Huh? Thank God this all was shit. That hand cannon is crap. I guess without upgrading it doesn't do shit. The magnum was more used, I should've just shot the magnum. Oh my god, that that weapon was shit. You saw him, I shot him in his chest first the first one, it didn't kill him. I shot him a second time, it didn't kill him, and the third one didn't kill him. He's still going. Jesus Christ, like what the fuck is the guy made out of? Yeah, look at Leon with his shades. Oh, 
Come on, say it, Leon. Say the line everybody loves. Everybody loves that line. He kind of looks like Wesker a bit with those glasses, doesn't he? And that hair. Come on, Leon, say it. Say the line. Where's everyone going? Bingo? There you go. Copy that. And be careful. First out. Damn, look at this shit. As soon as we grab the herb, it conveniently waits until we grab the herb. That's when it that's when it breaks and finally throws us down. Alright, so Let's see, um, we came from the Hunter's Lodge, there's no treasure back here, so that's a good thing, we did not miss anything. Yeah, so we have to collect every single thing from the village, um, because I am sick and tired of not getting that fucking trophy, I've played the game three times now and I still have not gotten that damn trophy, so we have to get it no matter what. No matter what, we have to get every single, tr not trophy, a treasure, whatever. Okay, so we're in here. Is it in here? The fuck is it? Oh, I think it might be upstairs. First aid spray. Yeah, yeah, I think it's on the roof. I believe it's on the roof. <laughs> Look at that extra leap, so extra. Okay, we're right in front of it, here we go. And it's one freaking velvet ass blue. That's what we came up here for, that useless ass thing. Okay. Grab that. Where's our freaking handgun ammo? I mean shotgun ammo, where is it? Oh, here it is on bed. Yeah, I'm gonna put that hand cannon away because that gun ain't doing shit. And I do not wanna up have to upgrade that constantly. I think it's probably gonna cost a fortune to upgrade, it's just not worth it, so we're just gonna put that shit away. Ouch, this seems like it hurt. He dove head first into that crate. These people are sick. Get out of here, chickens. That chicken was trying to kill me earlier. Okay, so we need a key for that. Fuck you. Glad we didn't unlock that earlier. That would have been that could have been a mess if he ambushed us and um we were still being pursued by all those guys. Okay, so we need a key for that one. We need Ashley for this one, so we can't do that one just yet, so... I think the only ones we can get are here and here. Ah, uh, but we can't get that one yet because that's the church entrance, so yeah, that's, um, that's out of bounds for now. It's much easier to gather resources when you're not fleeing from a pack of hooligans. You know, it's much easier to just mess around and gather all this stuff. 
when we don't have the mob behind us. Damn, they killed Bessie. Look at that, they barbecued the cow. For no reason too, I didn't even tell them to do that. I didn't even fire at the damn canister. You just killed them all by themselves. Yep, look at the lamp. They completely destroyed it and burned it without anyone telling them to kill that cow. What else do we have left? We've been to the tower. We're over there. Okay, we did that. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else left we have to do. Oh yeah, there's a door over there. We haven't unlocked that one. Or did we unlock it? Oh yeah, we did unlock it because it's, it's blue. I forgot. I believe that's the way we came from earlier, right? Yeah, that's when when the giant dog starts to attack. So I think we got everything we can from the village. Oh boy, seeing this section just reminds me of the how horrific it is on eight separate ways. That thing sucks to fight the unprofessional mode to fight the um the hallucinogenic thing, whatever it is. The hallucination she's having it just sucks like I I did one video session for that and I quit because I, I just cannot do that shit it's just insane what they expect you to do with minimal ammo minimal health you can't do anything it's just freaking psychotic so I just said nope we are not getting that fucking thing hell no hell no we're not getting that thing game doesn't look that bad without the um, ray tracing. It still looks pretty damn good, so I'm just going to keep it turned off. We got to save because you know, you don't know what's up ahead, so... We already have one death. So got to add one skull to the thumbnail. I wonder if anybody ever figured out what that was. There was a number of deaths. Oh yeah, I forgot the scope. There you go. Okay, there's nothing there. What the fuck? What are you doing, cow? Get out of my way. What's your problem, cow? You causing trouble? Oh, look at that pig. Is that a pig? No, that's a wolf. knife that cow because it's going to try to kill us later on.
We need a key for that. The wayfinder key. That's the one we usually miss sometimes. I think there's two of them, one in separate ways, one here. I think that's why we usually miss it. Look at this huge pile of hay and animal carcasses. There we go. I was wondering where the other ones were. <coughs> so I think we have to go over here. Let's disarm that. Because it's much more it's much more useful to leave it here. Maybe we can use it against an enemy. Like that pig headed guy that comes comes around on the second floor. Maybe we can lure him here and blow him away with that. Actually, we should have kept it intact. That would have been easier. We could have just crawled under it. Probably not the smartest move to remove it. Gotta fix everything myself.
Make sure he follows us. Oh, here he's coming. He's coming. Come on, fool. You got something waiting for your ass right here. Pretty powerfully. Let's eat that egg. We got the extra bonus. <laughs> Fuck is he? Triple team, let's go. <laughs> All right, we got it. That's everyone. Yeah, that explosion did not do nearly as much damage as I thought it would. Yeah, kick down that lock, Leon. Bust it open like Ada. What are you doing here, cow? Get out of here. Okay, we're still missing this one. It's over here. Wanna get as many enhancements for the um for the weapon improvements that we possibly can, so we wanna get more of those jewels to sell to the merchant. Where is it? It's behind here? Oh here it is. Up upstairs. Can we hit it with a knife? Yeah, we can. The story the the blue medallions is complete. Cows in here. Let's hope he doesn't kick us. That kick does major damage to the cow. I mean, from the cows. Okay, so we got this trophy up here. Got one here. Gotta grab that one. Where is it? Is, is it up top? Oh no, it's over here. There we go. Got a ruby. Okay, so I believe that's all of them. We cannot access this one just yet as we don't have the way shrine key we can sell that to the merchant yeah we don't have the way shrine key so there's no point in trying to get that treasure just yet Put 
get in here and fix the cog. And sure would be a lot tougher, like I said, if I were playing on normal mode, um, starting from scratch with a new game plus. I mean, for a new game, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Are you kidding me? Like, it might make a fun challenge someday, but not today. That is. I do not want to be frustrated to hell playing this, so... <clears throat> Plus, we also got trophies to get, so... No <laughs> one has to be worrying about multiple things at once. Let's push this rotting cow out of the way. Leon's uniform looks really nice here. It's kind of weird to see it looking more like normal blue than his usual self, but it still looks pretty damn good. There is another treasure right there. I do not believe we can go into here just yet, right? I think you have to wait until after later. Let's see. Nope, it's locked. We gotta wait until later. I think we return from the chief's mansion. That's when you can go in there. <coughs> I mean, you saw that we still struggle to pass the... Agarradlo! Ah, damn! Son of a bitch. Motherfucker. Really? Where the fuck did he come from? Just checking to see that there's not more coming behind him. Are you jackass? Oh, he kind of hunched over. Gotta take care of those fools. That took care of them. Bring it. <laughs> Trying to follow all the treasures, um. There's more of them over here. Oh, here's where the TNT man is. Guy who's just constantly throwing dynamite. <laughs> We're in an hour five minutes, so I'm almost should be at the end of this first video. Um, once we get to Luis, that's when we're gonna pause. Oh shit, we gotta... Take care of this buffoon before he throws that dynamite. Here you go. Leon, stay still. Did he die or not? Not quite clear. Did he actually die or not? Oh shit, he did not die. He's getting back up. There you go. That should finish him off. Oh, he didn't lit the dynamite. What a cheat. Thought it was gonna explode. He didn't do shit.
let him kill himself. Damn, look at that shit. Come on, step in that trap, fool. God damn. I thought that was a snake for a moment. They're just killing each other at this point. Oh, that's that lady who keeps throwing them. I think we can get her with the sniper rifle. Let's see. Here you go. Damn, missed. No, we can't get her. The opening is too narrow, so we gotta go up. God ah, damn. Shit. Why did it not kill him? We need this key, we do not have it yet. Get rid of this because it's gonna be harder to see it in the nighttime. We might step on it accidentally and get ourselves trapped. Clockwork Castellans are. 
the rest of the little statues that we had to destroy. I wonder where they are. I forgot to look them up before I started this, so. Ooh. Almost stepped right onto that. So this is where I thought that if you shot the pier, um, the salamander would come up and eat you, but it's actually the other pier, it's not this one. If you shoot at the water, it'll jump out and it's game over. But it's actually the other one. I tested it when I first played the game, but I was thinking maybe they had put it earlier so that you wouldn't expect it, but yeah, shooting this one does nothing. It has to be the one over here. It has to be the other area. Where you first see them throw the bodies from the boat. That's where, this the place. if you shoot at the water, it'll kill you. So that's locked because you can't go there. Oh, yeah, because we need the waste shrine key. So we cannot get that just yet. We can get one in here, though. Give it that kick. Hell yeah. Got gunpowder. And another lock drawer. Shit. We need multiple keys. We don't have any. Uh, does the merchant sell us a key? I forget. Ooh, we almost ran into that. There you go. I believe that's Luis's grandfather, supposedly. I'm not really sure. I think it's him. Alright, we're on our way, Luis. It's not Luis, it's Luis. There's What's a difference that, between the Spanish and American spelling. My grandfather was named that. He was Luis. Alright, that's actually not Lewis. Oh shit, really? Fucker? Damn, look at that, how vicious that kick is. He just killed him one blow. Yeah, we've gotten all we can, because this is locked, this is locked, we cannot go here. So yeah, this is as far as we go. And we cannot get that until we come back. Because um, this is where Mendes kicks us and renders us unconscious. So they can implant Leon with the worm. So they give him the worm. So we cannot get that right now. So we have three treasures that we have to come back for eventually before we leave the village. <coughs> Yeah, I put Luis's regular jacket back hurts, on. You know? Seem like you really he still looks pretty talk. damn good, even without now the ray tracing. Senor. Now, uh, say, uh, you got a smoke? You know, those things will kill you. Oh, well, maybe just untie me then, huh? I wonder if I changed the original line oh, when he said it got gone. This guy. Who are you? You yeah, stop right there! Is a photo mode really? I did not know that, or I forgot it was there. Chapter one end. Man, if that had been Chris, Chris would have stood the blow. He would have just withstood the blow and just punched him right back like a boulder. Chris would not have been rendered unconscious by that. Okay, so that's our first chapter professional. Not bad. Like I said, I'm not playing to withstand the whole difficulty. Like I'm just not that type of masochistic person that. Are gonna play professional mode from scratch that's insane but it took us an hour six minutes because we had to do the section over again kill 35 we died once I'm sure it's the first of many our accuracy went to ship but that's all right we took 13 damage to damage 13 times um all right so let's save again
let's start this chapter because that way we can um uh, that way we can start from right away next time sacrificial lamb yeah yeah Shit. whatever Sattler. I took my gear Palpatine rip off Oh shit, we don't have it. We don't have anything. Condor one to roost. I've located Baby Eagle. It sounds like she's being kept in some church. Great. That's good news. I heard it from this guy I met. He said his name is Luis Serra. There's something fishy about him. I need you to run a background check. We'll call Condor one. I'll see what I can find. Baby Eagle. It's funny how they use a cone name to keep anyone from guessing that it might be Ashley, but obviously all the people here already know that she's the one they're searching for, so it's kind of useless to refer to it. You know, they already know, man. They already know you're after a, after a, the president's hot daughter, so there's no, there's no point in concealing her identity, unless you think there's someone else infiltrating this village. Which there is, but she's definitely not after Ashley, so... So they say that parries are useless unless they're perfect parries, so um, let's test out how well if this works in profession remote. Can we just sneak up behind them? He's already waiting for us. So we have absolutely no chance to sneak up behind him. We just gotta take it. We just gotta take it. And hope we don't get killed. Shut up. God damn you, motherfucker. What's the parry again? Is is it our one or You know what, let's let's fucking restart cause Yeah, that sucked. Let's restart. Sacrificial lamb. Shut up, Shit. Sadler. Tutorials. Let's see. Parrying. You can parry an attack with L1 once the prompt appears at the bottom of the Took screen. Here. Whatever. Sure, Hunnigan, whatever. You got bigger stuff to worry about. Green herb this time. I think we got bullets the last time. Or coins. There we go. Let's see. It's L1, right? It's L1, so. God damn, why is it not parrying? Second death. Damn, look at that. I guess we might as well count it. I really don't want to, but whatever. Sacrificial lamb. Shit. I took Shut up, gear. Krauser. I mean, Sadler. Ready for getting his name. Condor one to roost. I've located B. <laughs>
wonder if we can just run past them. past you. Sucks. Ugh, God fucking damn it. Shit. Sucks. God damn. Sacrificial. Shit. That Shut shit up, right Sadler. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, we do have. I wonder if we can just go outside, grab a gun. And just come back and kill them all because we do have money we can't actually buy stuff from the merchants so i wonder if we can just bypass all that shit just grab one of our guns i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try to go outside Son of a bitch, you, you shithead. God damn, come on. We really can't go outside until until that? Really? I think that was my last one. We gotta go unlock the door again. So we gotta bypass the trap. We can just run right past him and dive right in there. Actually, you know what? We can kill him right now. There you go. And we got back our green herb. Nice. Let's grab this. And this. I'm glad I didn't say that for next time. That would have been a very bad way to start the stream. Or the video, whatever. The recording. If we started off being salty at, at these three doofuses. So. Okay, we got past them. Let's go get back our gear. I'm not liking this knife only stuff. It's bullshit. That sucks how they don't let you go outside the merchant because you could just cheese it that way. You could just um you could just go outside, buy a gun, come back and kill them all like that. You don't even need to stress about it. That sucks that they prevented you from cheesing it. Here we go. And we're through. God damn, come on Leon, why did you take so fucking long? Oh, because we need to hop over the ledge. 
Damn, we could have done that in the first place and bypassed that whole trouble with him. Leon was smarter. He'd, he'd um, find something to jam that valve with so that he doesn't have to run all the way over here. That's what Indiana Jones would have done. Just find something to jam it with. That's all. There we go. We got back all our shit. Taking these back. How come it didn't grab them all automatically? Now we're back to ourselves again. Got all this shit. Look at it. So we need at least two or three keys. We do not have any yet, so we're gonna have to trade for the merchant. Unlock that. Oh, there he is right there. Look at him. Hello, Over stranger. Here, stranger. Who's that? Yeah, I guess they needed to do a little introductory cutscene. Let's do, do some business then, eh? Let's grab this. Let's sell them the yellow or those well sort of no use whatsoever. Payment in kind. I got something new for you. Your valuables there you go. do you much let's good. Sell this. Great. Thank you. And these three, let's sell those. A deal well struck. And the pearl <laughs> pendant, we can sell that. Thank you. What do we need to buy? Uh, does he have any keys? He does What's not, so unfortunately we have to go on have we find in the swampy area. <laughs> you don't wanna know, mate. Oh yeah, we can sell the hunter's lodge key. Pleasure doing business with you. Damn, we got a ton of saf sapphire. We do not have money to upgrade any of our guns just yet. Um, Oh, we gotta repair a knife. That's something we gotta do, definitely. If you want a bo that's good work. If there I you do go. say so myself. And the body armor, shit. Good luck to you, stranger. This is all finished, so. Damn, it costs forty thousand just to raise the the hand cannon power. It's not even worth it. It's not even worth it, man. Every, everything else is fine. Oh, I guess we trade for the yellow diamond, right? We might as well. Oh, I knew you'd choose that one. <laughs> and I guess the barrel, right? We might as well trade for it too. <laughs> a wise choice. I know. I say that a lot, but I mean it. Should we buy the gunpowder or not? I think we're I think we're fine on ammo for now. There's some things. Money can't buy. I want to see how many jewels we get before, um... Is there anything else we can sell? Do you much good in the grave? Will that be all then? Come back any time. We should have sold these knives. Let's put the hand cannon back in storage. It's not really that useful. Got two shots in it, whatever. Let's just put it back in storage. So these are great for bolts, but the problem is we don't have enough gunpowder to make any of them. We have plenty of resources, we don't have much gunpowder, so it's kind of useless carrying all those knives around. Let's auto sort this crap. We 
could sell them, but I want to see what else we can do with them. <coughs> oh yeah, let's go take care of the rats in the in the um. Uh, I've been waiting for you, mate. The warehouse here. A fine piece of kit I did. You don't want to pass that one. Where's the rats? Let's see. There's one of those dirty bastards right there. Slippery. Got one. Got two. And three. There he goes. Funny how he has you doing all this stuff. It's not gonna make any difference. The place is still dirty as hell. Yes! Look at Leon all, all excited because he killed three rats. There you go, request complete. Took care of her a quick. <laughs> nice work. There you go. What you buy? So what do we need? Uh, we have shotgun ammo for now. We have enough rifle ammo. Could always make more shotgun. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> Let's go get the treasure over there. Yeah, that one's locked. So we need um. We definitely need a key for How that. Am I? <laughs> Trying to be fancy with those nice moves. Where is the treasure? Oh, it's over here. Oh, we have to go find... Yeah, that's where we gotta find the... Um, Gotta find the the emblem to open up the door. Yeah, this is a long sequence, so. We're in an hour and a half. I think we're gonna pass. Yeah, I think I've reached my limit for tonight. Because that's a long sequence. We don't have the time to go do that shit. So we're gonna save and that'll be it for tonight. It's not very frustrating so far, but like I said, I know I'm using souped up weapons. I just wanna see if I can beat it. Because obviously it's going to get much worse later on when they throw a lot of enemies at you. Especially especially in the island. I can see that section being hell with all the mercenaries. So we will have time to rage at it next time. You know, we can rage at it next time. When we get to that part. For now I'm fine just playing through and casually making my way through the, through the scenario. Yeah, like I said, so far it's not really frustrating. But I know that's because I have the ultra powerful weapons too. I imagine it would be a whole lot tougher if I was just playing from scratch. Which is why I'm not going to play from scratch because I'm not insane, you know. This is not a guy who knows how to do professional mode unlike the Resident Evil 2 ones where I'm specific specifically showing you how to get a, you know, um, how to get a certain time or how to do pacifist, pacifist mode for Claire or how to do assassin mode for Leon. Um, this is not a tutorial. This is just me trying to beat the game on professional mode as best as I can. So I'm definitely not going to do it from scratch because that would be hell. It'll probably take me like 30 hours and like 50 tries in some of the sections, so. I'm just going to see how far I can get without it be, being frustrating. I can imagine that uh, Mendes is going to be way tougher here than he is in normal games, so that should be interesting. But yeah, we'll pick this up eventually. Um, probably not tomorrow because I want to get back to doing uh, Leon Assassin Run in RE2. That's pretty fun. You have to get... 90% accuracy on the enemies and you also have to kill 50 of them so that's a pretty fun run to to take on and after that I also want to go back to playing either Alan Wake 2 or Robocop um, I should probably do Robocop but I'll probably end up doing Alan Wake 2 just because the story is so damn fascinating I'm really interested to see where it goes it's a very great game can't recommend it enough you know highly recommend it I just wish they'd done an actual physical copy of that game you know just Give us the physical version, no matter what, but I'm sure eventually someone will do it. You know, even if it's limited run games and it takes you like three months to get it, I'm sure eventually someone will will uh, give us a copy of that. But yeah, um, we're going to see eventually if I can actually get the trophy for a professional mode. Hopefully I do without too much frustration. 
unlike Ada section, which is basically like three hours of pure and utter hell. It's separate ways on professional mode. I do not recommend it, would not attempt it if I were you. Unless you're a glutton for punishment, then you can tackle it all you want. But thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time on Resident Evil 4, 4 Remake on the PS5 on the dreaded professional mode difficulty. See you later.